hovers around 100 miles per hour. That one too high. 97 at its ball. It's a situation there where the three batter minimum really shows up from the right side in previous seasons. So to that end, I, I think you know the idea of that rule was to speed up the game to limit the number of mid-inning pitching changes, but I think probably that for me. That one inside. I'm with you in that spot. I think that would have happened. I do think we had been. I think he works in their front office now. Oh, uh, from USC. Take Tony Fossis for 500. <laughs> inside ball four. Go ahead, run. Is on base. Knotted things up. Pitch to half. And in gets a piece, fouls it back. Top two position players this year. And that one upstairs, and it get pa gets past Herrera. Down to second goes Wilson Contreras. Ooh. Slices that one foul. Chasing that high one nearly as much. One, two. Broken bat roller right side. And Contreras down to third. Fastball for a strike. Owen one to wisdom. Patrick had a two up a little pepper with Bader out there in center. He had a good slider at 89. Oh and two. A little bit high. Helsley thought he had a little bit low. I also like the visual of him literally dancing down the line. That would be good too. Yes. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. I don't know. Get back here. Get back on that bump, young man. Wisdom waits. The three-two. Check swing foul. Wow. He went. Three. We're in the eighth. Too high, and he walked him. And now an opportunity for Nico. An affirmation, yeah. Horner swings, pops it up. Foul off first. Goldschmidt runs out of room. Ready, Nico waits. Pitch to Horner. Hammer. Ooh, look out. Wow. Moving off a third. 0-2. Swing and a miss struck him out and Helsley got Gomes here and that one lifted out towards center Bader charging in and makes the catch That's run and grab by the goal Big swing and a miss. That one at one. And Lance Barksdale rings him up. Two away. Comes down to the. So it's clearly crossing the plate. Here's Velasquez. And a swing and a miss. Makes it one and one. Gallegos will both be down tomorrow. That's two one. Inside almost hit him. On the ground up the middle, and Velasquez keeps it going. And that'll bring the tying run to the plate and Christopher Morell. Four with a single and a run score. That's ball one. Big swing and a miss. Oh, a foul ball. 
held up inside two and one. The pitch to Morrell. Two and two. Mode. On the ground to third. Arenado out at second. And that. Everything, even though he throws 100, but he does. Now with a 97 and a first pitch strike. Coop with the base hit back in the second inning. Taken outside, 99. Helsley out of Oklahoma, fifth one all season. I mean, everyone they've thrown out here has got big times. 186 against the Marlins all, all year. This one down the right field line, but it'll drop foul. Cooper fouls that one out of play. I mean, he's bringing the pain right there. Cooper zone. Inside at a hundred. Road. Triple digits for the strikeout. One away with an 086 batting average against. And strike one to Aguilar. Boy, even that in the back of your mind is even tougher. That's just not fair. Two away. Here's Garcia. Base hit back in the fourth inning. Helsley ready with an 0 1 pitch that misses away. But right now they've got to make up two runs with two strikes to work with. And now one here in St. Louis. One and two. And the Cardinals have taken the first. 0 30 ERA and 0 83 batting average against. And a low strike one. 12 inning scoreless streak for Helsley, who brings that one home. And that one north of the zone. So he's mixing a change up every once in a while to a left. Inside, two and one. 11 straight in the second half of 2016 when he won the Cy Young. Two pitches, I'll give you that. So he's got four plus pitches. And now. You put strikes on Garrett Cooper with Sanchez waiting on deck. Pitch from Helsley. Down and away for ball four. <laughs> that is a an incredible position if you're going to go pinch runner. Or is that just for the ball in the gap? We'll see. Not going on the first pitch, which is a strike to Jesus Sanchez. Back. Again, not going in there. Here is Aguilar now. One and one. Gosh, that's filthy right there. You're waiting for 101, and he just throws a nine strikes. That's when you have a problem. And against the Cardinals, but he needs at least a run here in the ninth inning. Aguilar chased one in the dirt. Not going. As Avi goes after the first one, sends one high and deep center field. Back goes Carlson at the wall, and it's gone! A two-run home run for Avi Garcia with the Marlins down to their last out. They take a 4-3 lead. You don't think that these guys don't know that they want to win this game? The only one probably that can catch up to 100 and go dead central. Helsley hadn't allowed a home run in the ninth.
Oof. I think I might have pulled the oblique or something, fist pumping. Do it for Sandy. What a swing. Another look at the home run swing. Paul, you knew that that meant a lot to him. Less because of himself. And game face on, hoping that he'd get the bottom of the ninth inning. And now Anderson comes through with a base hit. And that was such a big home run right there. And all three times the Marlins had that leadoff man. Everything he's got every five days. Miggy went around. Inning is over. Anna oh, was doing a good job. He is. And the breaking ball taken for a strike by and the next to Kyle Schwarber. Launched foul. Wow. Into the third deck. You don't go up to gone gone. Yeah, like it's out of here, but no, but really. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I get it. And that's just Dominguez for the Phils. The next. Ryan Helsley. And the 2 2 pitch. Couldn't hold up. He strikes out for the fourth time. It's hit in the sixth. Shift on the left side of the infield. That's in for a strike. On how deep he thinks he can go. These are conversations that happen all the time. And was designated for assignment today. That surprise you at all? Well, I mean, it, it, the. Swing and a miss. In the zone. Just stay down with this guy. Check swing and a foul ball. Two outs, nobody on, and the 0 1 pitch. Now they get two. The 0 2. Just got a piece to pull it foul and stay alive. Let's see what he does on 0 and 2. Got him. Climb the ladder and strikes out the side. Good calls. And the first pitch is a ball low. Rimuto one. And the 1 0 pitch slowly hit up the third baseline and foul. One ball and one strike. And the 1 1 pitch take it high. It's to go. The 2 1. 2 and 2. Oh, and that's why I'm sure he's so happy to be back in this one after that game Wednesday. And the 2 2 is fouled back out of play. Better location on that breaking ball right there. Slider, this one down and away. It missed up on one. Right center, so pretty big gap in left center. And the 3 2 pitch by Helsley. It's another 3 2 pitch. Swing and a miss. No, they're going to say he just got a piece. So we do it again on three and two. Three, two again. And this time he got him. Grounded back to the pitcher, fly to center. First pitch to him is a ball high. Well, how many times have we seen a breaking ball coming out of the hands on both sides, both pitchers, where it just looks like it's slipped? The 1 0. Falls behind here to, to what's happened here this evening. Had him out in front and it's popped up near the screen. Herrera throws the mask and makes the catch. Mark Beerling does have three home runs this year. The first pitch to him. Ball one. 
the 1 0. A ball. And the 1 1 pitch by Helsley. Inside, two balls and a strike. Ryan Canavan fumes right now. I mean, when you see him hitting 96, 97, not the norm. Had that little something extra. Doesn't have to be velocity. Got to be location. Pretty good one there. Doesn't get the call from home plate umpire Sean Barber down and away. The next. And the first pitch. Strike one. The 0 1. Nothing in two. And the Phillies down to their final strike. Pitch to Herrera. I like the idea right there. Either you get him to swing through it or you set up another slider down in the dirt, just change the eye level for game two of the series. The one two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Herrera.